Cam Thomas, he led all summer league scores with 27 points per game. For Brooklyn, his odds are obviously much longer at plus 4,500 to win Rookie of the Year. Like, probably because, yeah, he's on a team with Durant, Harden, Kyrie. So after what we saw in Summer League, do you think he could be a legit piece in Brooklyn next season, Nick? Yeah, I mean, I, he's not somebody I would consider for Rookie of the Year at all. I think those odds make sense. Uh, I'm glad they weren't bumped up, and despite him playing really well in Summer League. I'm not sure what to expect in year one. I mean, you know, you mentioned the three stars. Um, they have Patty Mills as well. They brought back Bruce Brown. They have Joe Harris. So you're looking like best case scenario. I mean, Cam Thomas is like your seventh or eighth man. Uh, I, I think they're going to work him in. I think, you know, if and when Kyrie misses 15 to 20 games, if and when James Harden tweaks his hamstring, um, you know, that's what we're going to see uh, Cam Thomas, you know, come in and maybe have nights where he plays 25, 30 minutes um, in these kind of throwaway games for the Nets because, you know, they're focused on getting one of the top two or three seeds in the East and just being healthy for the playoffs. You know, I, I think they're going to, they're going to have a relatively short leash with him just because they are so deep. But every now and then, you know, a situation is going to arise where a couple of those guys are out and we're going to get to see, you know, the Cam Thomas show on full display. That's when you're going to want to plug him in to your DraftKings lineup when he's going to be priced at like $4,100. All right, so Kenny, do we think he could be a legit piece in Brooklyn next season despite all the stars on this team? I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, it, look, w w this is like technically a deep team in the sense that they have like, you know, 14 playable players. But when you look at it, I mean, I just think he's kind of buried, you know, Tyler Johnson uh, is, is technically ahead of him on the depth chart. They brought in a veteran and Deandre Bembry, who I think is, is pretty talented. They did also brought in Javon Carter. Like th this is a, and Bruce Brown, right. Got meaningful minutes last year in the postseason. They obviously like Bruce Brown TLC. Uh, they put him in for meaning, meaningful minutes as well. I just think that he's too buried here. Even if like there's a night where you know Kyrie Harden and Durant all don't play, he's still going to be on the bench. Um, I don't think he's ever going to elevate to the starting lineup, at least not this year. He's talented. I, I think that he he could definitely be a really key role player uh, for the Nets, maybe even as soon as uh, you know a couple of years from now. But in his rookie season, I think they're going to take. I mean, Nick Claxton was a guy that Nets fans were really excited about. A lot of people were really excited about him. And it took him all season to get into that starting lineup or even just to get big minutes. And the Nets didn't even have any big men. DeAndre Jordan was the only guy holding him back for minutes. DeAndre Jordan stunk last year, and he still started over Nick Claxton. I think it's going to be a really slow process getting Cam Thomas into the lineup. They obviously want to take their time developing him. They don't, they're not in a rush. You don't need to just throw him in the starting lineup because they have so many stars. So I don't think he's going to win Rookie of the Year. And I don't think he's going to be much of a factor this year. But again, you know, a lot of momentum and he's, he's really good. So a uh, bright future for him, I think.